Welcome to the chapter Our Body Its Internal Organ System This slide presents the overview of the chapter Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter you will be able to Learn about the internal organ system. Describe the respiratory system. Explain the importance of circulatory system. Identify the functions of blood. Interpret skeletal system. Describe the digestive system. Explain the excretory system. Interpret the nervous system. Understand the healthy habits to be followed to have a healthy body. In the previous classes we have learnt about the external organs of the body the sense organs and their importance the protection of our sense organs the process of respiration in human beings do you know why we should breathe what makes our body stand erect what happens to the food we eat how we get energy to do work how wastes are removed from our body let us try to answer these questions and learn more about our internal organ system first let us start our chapter with an important internal organ the respiratory system we need air to live we know that the process of breathing in and breathing out air is called respiration The important organs of the respiratory system are nose, windpipe and lungs. The inhaled air enters into our nostrils. The walls of the nostrils are wet and have tiny hair. These hair protect our nose from dust and prevent dirt particles from entering into our body. From the nostrils, the inhaled air enters into the windpipe or trachea. The windpipe divides itself into two and opens into the lungs. Lungs absorb the oxygen from air. They are situated in our chest region. Lungs are made up of many tiny structures called pleura. These structures help in the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The walls of the pleura are made up of tiny blood capillaries. These capillaries help in absorbing the oxygen from the air we breathe in and transport it to all parts of the body through blood. In a similar manner, carbon dioxide and water vapor are sent out of the body. The doctor who treats the disease of lungs is called a pulmonologist. Here, we will learn the reason for expansion of chest when we breathe. by performing an activity click each tab to know more take a measuring tape next wrap the tape around the chest of your friend now measure the width of his or her chest hold the tape tightly and ask your friend to breathe in and out deeply for few seconds Observe the changes in the width of the chest. It is observed that the width of our chest is more than 29.5 cm when we inhale air and is 28 cm when we exhale air. From the activity, we notice that the air we breathe in fills our lungs that are located in our chest and hence the width of the chest increases similarly the air in the lungs is vacated when we breathe out resulting in the normal position of the chest knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding
Here, let us listen to a rhyme on how our heart beats. Lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. Listen, listen, listen. While we walk, while we stand, while we are asleep, while we run, then now always lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. Listen, listen, listen. Next, let us study about the functions of our heart. The beat of our heart makes us alive. The heart is located between two lungs protected by a ribcage. The size of our heart is approximately equal to the size of our fist. The main functions of the heart is it pumps blood to all parts of the body. The transported blood consists of oxygen and the food materials that are obtained from the food we eat. Usually, the digested food from the stomach flows into the blood and through the blood vessels, it is sent to various parts of the body. This gives us energy and helps us to perform different activities. The other important functions of blood are, it regulates the body temperature and protects our body from disease-causing germs. We know that blood is a fluid connective tissue. It is made up of plasma. Blood contains three types of blood cells. They include red blood corpuscles or RBC, white blood corpuscles or WBC, blood platelets. Red blood corpuscles or RBC. RBC are also called erythrocytes. The main function of RBC is that it carries oxygen to all parts of our body. White blood corpuscles or WBC. WBC are also called leukocytes. The main function of WBC is that it fights against disease-causing germs. Blood platelets. Platelets are also called thrombocytes. These help in the coagulation of blood. The doctor who treats the diseases of the heart is called a cardiologist or a heart specialist. We must eat healthy food to have sufficient blood in our body. Food items like peanut bar, groundnut bar, gingerly bar, leafy vegetables, milk, meat, etc. must be taken in order to increase the amount of blood in our body. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Now, let us study the other important internal organ, the skeletal system. Skeletal system is made up of different types of bones. Some bones are small, some are big, some are wide, some are sharp, some are curved with different shapes and sizes. A total of 206 bones are present in our body. Skeleton gives shape and support to our body. It protects some important internal organs of our body. The bony structure in the head part is called skull. It protects the brain. Backbone is also called spinal cord. It is made up of small bones. It extends from the neck to the waist. Backbone helps the body to stand erect. Calcium helps in making our bones strong. This calcium is found rich in food items like milk, milk products, eggs and leafy vegetables. Also our bones and muscles remain strong if we play, walk, run etc. Always maintain an erect position while sitting and walking. Vitamin D helps our bones and skin to remain healthy. This vitamin D is obtained when we are exposed to sunlight. 
the doctor who treats the diseases of the bones is called an orthopedician. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Now, let us study about the digestive system. Generally, you might have observed that the size of our stomach increases when we drink water or eat food. When compared to the digestive system of other organisms, the human digestive system is very complex where different parts perform different functions by using various digestive juices and enzymes. The image on the screen shows the path of the chewed food. The alimentary canal is a long tube extending from the mouth to the anus. Generally, every one of us gets a doubt about what happens to the food once it enters into our body and how it gets digested in the alimentary canal. The food we eat is chewed by our teeth in the mouth. This chewed food is mixed with saliva to make it wet and slippery. The tongue helps in mixing the food and forwarding it to the next part and the lower jaw also helps in the whole process. These parts help in the smooth passage of food through our alimentary canal to the stomach. The soft food that is mixed with saliva passes through the esophagus food pipe to the stomach. In the stomach, the food gets digested by the action of some enzymes and acids. Here the food is termed as chyme. From the stomach, the food is passed into the small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal. Here, complete digestion of carbohydrates, proteins and fats takes place. The digested food in the small intestine is absorbed into the blood. With the help of small intestine, the maximum amount of digested food is sent to various parts of the body through blood. The remaining amount of the food material passes to the large intestine. The large intestine reabsorbs the maximum amount of water from the remaining food material. This material is then passed through the anus, which is the last part of the digestive path. Dr. Beaumont's experiments revolutionized the concepts on digestion. June 16, 1822 has become the beginning for the various pioneering experiments in medicine. He narrated many of his discoveries in his journal which says, I consider myself but a humble experimenter. Some of the discoveries of Dr. Beaumont on digestion of food were, he found that the temperature of stomach during digestion remains unchanged 100 Fahrenheit or 38 degrees centigrade. He found that pure gastric juice contains large amounts of HCL. Gastric juice is secreted immediately when the food enters the stomach which helps digestion. Digestion begins immediately when the food enters the stomach. Food in the stomach fulfills the hunger even if it do not pass through the mouth and esophagus. The table on the screen gives information about Dr. Beaumont's observations on the digestion of food items. Here let us study about the process of digestion of food when it enters into our body. Apple is cut into pieces and chewed. It mixes with the saliva in the mouth. For this, the time taken is 5 to 30 seconds. Esophagus carries the food into the stomach. For this, the time taken is 10 to 15 seconds. The food in the stomach mixes with the digestive juices 
and is made into small pieces. For this, the stomach takes 3 to 5 hours. In the small intestine, the food is completely converted into liquid form and is mixed with the blood. For this purpose, food stays for 3 to 4 hours in the small intestine. The food that is made into very minute particles is transported to all parts of the body after mixing with blood. The undigested food and water enter into the large intestine. Here, water and other fluids are absorbed into the blood. The food stays for 8 hours to 3 days in the large intestine. Unwanted wastes in liquid form are sent out in the form of urine. Unwanted wastes in solid form are sent out through the anus as feces. Make a note. We should never overeat the food. Always 25% of the stomach must be kept empty. The wastes are sent out easily from the digestive tract if we drink enough water or eat watery fruits like citrus fruits etc. Drag and Drop Puzzle From the image on screen, identify the parts of the digestive system from mouth to anus. The first one is done for you. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Now, let us study about the other internal organ, the excretory system. Human body works like a machine. Many life processes go on continuously. Through these substances, many harmful substances are produced. These unwanted substances produced from different parts of the body are sent out through the process called the excretory system. If the food we eat is digested, then we get energy. The unwanted food left after digestion is sent out through anus in the form of fecal matter. The excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Two kidneys are located at the back in the waist region, one on either side of the spinal cord. They filter the blood and separate the impurities from it. These impurities are sent out in the form of urine. Skin is another important excretory organ of the human body. It sends out the wastes in the form of sweat. The doctor who treats the diseases related to the kidneys or renal system is called a urologist. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding.
Now, let us study the last internal organ system, the nervous system. Nervous system is mainly classified into two types. They are central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. Each and every part of our body has nerves. The important function of nerves is that they pass on the information obtained from the sense organs to the brain. The brain thus analyzes the information and gives instructions to different parts of the body through that nerves. For example, when you touch a hot pan or when you suddenly put your leg on a sharp pin, immediately the brain coordinates with the different body parts and it orders the nerves to take the necessary action. Brain functions properly only when we take nutritious food, all kinds of food in proper amounts. The doctor who treats the diseases related to the nerves and the brain is called a neurologist. In order to maintain the metabolism of the various organ systems present in our body, our body needs a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. Given below are some of the healthy habits that ought to be followed to have a healthy body. Wake up before sunrise. Daily do exercise, play, run and spend some time in the sunlight. Wash hands neatly with soap before and after eating and after toilet. Eat clean and neat food like fruits, vegetables, pulses, leafy vegetables etc. Milk, eggs, fruits are important for the growth and health of the body. Care must be taken to prevent diseases. But keep your surroundings neat and clean. Eat meals on time. Do not eat excess amount of food. Drink plenty of water when you are thirsty. Do not eat pickles too much which contain salt. Do not eat junk food like pizza, burger etc. because they spoil our health. Do not buy and eat food sold on the roadside because the chances of getting diseases increase by eating such food. Do not take soft drinks, instead drink coconut water, buttermilk etc. which are good for health. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Keywords List of keywords are shown on the screen. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. The process of breathing in and breathing out air is called respiration. The important organs of the respiratory system are nose, windpipe and lungs. The doctor who treats the diseases of lungs is called a pulmonologist. The beat of our heart makes us alive. Heart is located between two lungs protected by a ribcage. The main function of the heart is it pumps blood to all parts of the body. The digested food from the stomach flows into the blood and through the blood vessels it is sent to various parts of the body. Blood contains three types of blood cells. They include red blood corpuscles RBC, white blood corpuscles WBC and blood platelets. The doctors who treats the diseases of the heart is called a cardiologist or a heart specialist. Skeletal system is made up of different types of bones. A total of 206 bones are present in our body. The bony structure in the head part is called skull. It protects the brain. Skeleton gives shape and support to our body. The doctor who treats the diseases of the bones is called an orthopedician. The elementary canal is a long tube extending from the mouth to the anus. The unwanted substances produced from different parts of the body are sent out through a process called excretory system. The excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. 
skin is another important excretory organ of the human body. It sends out the wastes in the form of sweat. The doctors who treat the diseases related to kidneys or renal system is called a urologist. The important function of nerves is that they pass on the information obtained from the sense organs to the brain. The doctor who treats the diseases related to the nerves and brain is called a neurologist. In order to maintain the metabolism of various organ systems present in our body, our body needs a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Drawing skills. This section helps you to sketch images in a step-by-step -step manner. Click each tab to know more.
follow up work take up the following activities place your hand on your chest and count how many times you inhale and exhale air in one minute observe the lungs of a goat or a sheep in a butcher shop and write down your observations place one of your ears on the chest of your friend and listen to the sound carefully where does this sound come from discuss with your friends name that organ which instrument does the doctor use to hear the heartbeat prepare a model of the stethoscope using a stopwatch count the number of times the heart beats in one minute observe some x-ray photographs and identify which part they belong to draw the diagrams joints help in moving and bending the bones identify the places where joints are located imagine and say how the body would be without bones and without joints place your hand on the heart and listen to the heartbeat carefully run for some time and listen again do you find any difference write the differences and give the reasons in which situations does the heart rate increase observe and write visit a doctor or a health volunteer nearby find out the rate of heartbeat for the different age groups of people tabulate the information test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test you have successfully completed the chapter our body its internal organ system